is going on, Bobbylicious boys and gals? Welcome back to Bobbylicious Gaming, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, when we last had left off, we had saved Toad number 2, and we had defeated the... Did it not save? It must have. I'm about to have a crisis up, up in here. Okay, it's safe. Good. I was literally about to be like, that's it, we're done. Bobbylicious Gaming, shut down forever. No more, please stand by. For forever. Oh yeah, we got it. Anyway, sorry about my little freak out there. I was literally about to just be like, that's it, we're done. This would have been a two minute episode and it would have been like, bye bye Bobbylicious Gaming. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, we're going to the Boilermaker. We, oh, there's hair going to my nose. There's a... Uh, we got the Boilermaker, we beat the dinosaur, we beat the Ooga Booga caveman. Oh, we gotta do cha 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 And Gooigi! Cha 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 Darn it, I thought I'd get it in this time. I was not fast enough. Um, you know, you were here, you saw. We did the thing. And we're now at the Boilermaker. We're in B2. What is this banjo music? Goichi, get in the bag. Get in the, get in the backpack. Alright, let's see what we got going on. I'm curious why we gotta go to the bottom floor now. Uh, strange... Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Probably would've been easier to suck them up, but... I think flashing them with, uh... uh that's it? That's all that's in there? Oh, money! Um, I think flashing them with a light bulb that's clearly strong enough to, you know, kill an entire bat. I think that's pretty hardcore. That's pretty metal. That's it? I'm really... I'm getting annoyed. There's been a, la a serious lack of cash. And, uh, that to me, no bueno. Well, hey there, Clive! You done wandered into the wrong boiler maker, boy. Oh. <laughs> Even had like a little southern accent. Hey Good thing I'm Alright, so Guiji can't go back, clearly. But he can go through the pipe! Right, that is not what I wanted. Is this a door hidden in disguise? Can I? <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Oh, can't go this way. Oh, secret money <gasps> and golden mice. Hello, boys. Hello. Ah, uh, how was everyone's day today? Was it amazing? Because mine was amazing. I had work, and then I got off work, and I went and I got chicken wings with my sister. And it was, uh, just a grand old time, and then we watched some YouTube videos, and laughed, and joked, and just had a, had a ball. I will say, I was a little annoyed about something. I have to- oh, I can- wow, I can- Okay, that was easy enough. I wonder if that changed the direction of this by chance. No, that is a negatory. Um, I really feel like there's something behind this. Oh, it's a sh it's a tarp. That's why my instinct was correct. It's like that looks like drywall or something. Anyway, gotta you know I gotta have a rant. You know I gotta have a story. I've come to realize, and, and it's kind of something that's been building up, but like today it finally hit me. I, I hate shopping at the store. I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. We were at Fry's, um, which is our local Kroger store, 
Um, because we're getting chicken wings, but we like to get the wings, like, made, and then I make my own signature chicken wing sauce, because it's, uh, amazing. And, ooh, ooh, gotta smash, gotta smash. And, uh, hey, minis. What? How did I not? Mm. Uh, anyway, I, I make my own signature sauce, and it's delicious, but I didn't have some of the ingredients, and I had to get some other stuff. So, we're walking through the store, and first thing that happens, Beth's telling me this story about today at work, she had a customer on the phone with her that was, um, oh gosh, I can already tell this is going to be the whole thing. Oh boy. Um, she had a customer on the phone that was, like, acting like he was Santa Claus. And he's calling her, he's like, Hello, Bethany! And she's like trying to help him with his inquiry. Oh, I see. And he's like, and she's like, Hi, you know, how can I help you? Blah, blah, blah. And he's just like, Have you been a naughty or nice girl? Just being weird and creepy based on what she's telling me. And I was like, That is really weird and creepy. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and. I think this one's gonna turn. Oops. Alright, alright. And then this one goes like this. Boom. Gooigi, you're in. Done. Put the power through the door. And it's open. Just like that. Just like that. I can talk, I can tell a story at the same time. Um, what is this? This vent. It better give me something good. And there's a bucket of coins right there. I was... I don't know where I'm aiming. No. That was literally the sound going in my head. Give me the bucket of coins. Alright, that's enough. Um, alright. I don't need Gooigi anymore. Um, uh, so she's telling me the story about this guy being creepy, and I was just like, why do people have to be weird and insert themselves, like, insert themselves into your lives like that and try to be weird? And as we're talking, she's like, oh, I don't know, I was just laughing so hard on the phone trying not to, you know, to laugh about it. And this old dude, who looked like a Santa Claus, steps in front of us, and I'm trying to do that, like, ooh, ooh, are you going left, are you going right type move? He steps in front of us and is like, oh, you couldn't stop laughing, and I was like... Sir! Santa Claus, man! We are literally having a conversation about people weirdly inserting themselves into your lives, and you have just done it! You have proven my point about that being weird! I'm sorry I'm so passionate about this, but it's- I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And, to top it all off, that is not the only person that in the day tried to insert himself into our conversation. It's- you- I- I'm sorry to, you know, kind of point it out, but it's- it's- Oddly, always older men, and and I don't understand it. I I I just they they have to talk. They want to talk. They want to say what they want to say, and I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting so frustrated and passionate. I don't get it. I don't understand. It it makes no sense. Oh, there's a there's a thing back here. Okay, I see. I know I said I wasn't gonna get the gem, but I mean we're already here, and I figured it out. So I I got I want to feel like I'm smart. Please. Um, anyway, so, well, this isn't even the same room. This is a creepy room. There's pizza boxes and, I mean, cool, a secret stash, but there's TP and more money and, this has dark vibes, dark energy. There's a banjo. It's only got one string. I'm gonna destroy this banjo, this, this, this bit of evil. Destroy! <laughs> Anyway, moral of the story, kids, ladies and gentlemen, old men, please don't randomly insert yourself into people's conversations. You don't belong there. Get out. If you have something relevant to the conversation and you're not just trying to be silly and weird, just keep out of people's business. The other thing that gets me, small thing, but I, I, the other reason I hate shopping, mostly. That happens when we go shopping, but the other thing that, that annoys me about shopping is... Okay. Okay. Actually, no, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do this. 
get on here. Um, is when is people that get in the way with their carts and they just stand there like and I try to be so polite if you know me in real life you know that I'm a polite boy and I don't want to I don't want to get in people's way and so I just like you know try to like nudge by but when they're like right in the middle of the thing and you're like actively trying to like awkwardly like lift your cart around them and you're just like oh excuse me I've got two boxes of cat litter and six gallons of water here but no no you you stay put in your little uh go-go scooter there um you know it's just it's it, it's enough to make me say like I, I'll do all my shopping on Amazon thank you deliver me some fresh milk and cheese and other things vegetables whatever else I eat I don't know. Rant over. I just had to get that out of the way. I had to get my passion out of the way. Mostly because I knew I was going to forget. And then I would have been like, oh, I wanted to tell a passionate story that nobody cares about, <laughs> about my adventures at the store. Okay. Now, I see that there's, like, standing pads. I wonder if that's going to come into anything, but for now... We're going up. Okay. Oh, cutscene. Hey, it's Merle! Or Clive, or whatever I called him. Gotta flip this here switch and see what happens. Come on, Clive. The chicken wings were amazing, by the way. That's, I mean, that's not really relevant to the story. It was expected. They're delicious. But, oh. Oh, Guiji's what helped me get up here. Halter Pop! Save me! Be one of those swimming dogs. All right. Oh. He's like, nah. I love Halter Pop. What a sweet boy. There he goes. You've gotten yourself into a real mess there, Luigi. Good news, though, the Poltergeist G00, the Poltergeist Goo, has been tested in depths up to... I forget. Really deep. What's important is it's waterproof. Good. But because that ghost used the switch to control the water levels, your path is blocked. I think you could walk along the sewer waterway and reach the switch. Give it a try. Gotta return the water after the ghost. Alright. Post-it notes. Magazines. Money! This is the camera. Is that a football? Is that a Dratini? Is that a goose? Is that a swan? Is that a, is that a mine? Oh my gosh. All right, he's he's here. He's laughing. All right, I don't I don't know why I'm so concerned about all this. It's Luigi. It's the coffee maker. Is that literally all it was? Was the coffee maker? Ew! Is it like pumping in the water from out there, like like poopy water? Oh, Luigi's like really tripped out by this. Is this all happening in like one night? Is the question I want to know because like Luigi hasn't eaten anything. Yeah, money. <laughs> and I mean, look at his eyes. He's got bags under his eyes. He's like, I am needing of sleep. Why did they have a, oh no, that was probably like an oil thing. I thought that was a teapot. <gasps> am I gonna get to ride this little rubber ducky? Riveting. Oh, I can use the, the vacuum. <laughs> Good. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is how I have to transport around? Hmm. Alright, Guiji. Get on it. Where's it gonna put me out? Uh, the most inconvenient spot. But that's gonna put me... 
there. Okay, cool. And then I can pull this little switch. So I'm very interested because I've noticed uh, in this game a lot now, and I've noticed it in a lot of other games, uh, Nintendo games, that, uh, woo! Watch out for that mine, Luigi. How about this? Okay. Oh, garbage and money! Well, that's a good bit of money right there. And fish bits. Yum. Um. Okay, and then I'm about to go in this one. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um. Nintendo specifically, and I'm sure there's maybe other game developers that that have it, but Nintendo seems to have this obsession with watermelons. And I remember, yes, um, I remember some. Oh, what am I doing? Oof, I thought I was gonna hit that thing. <gasps> okay. What is this opening or turning on? Or... I don't know what it is. Is there a fish in here? I don't know what's happening. I'm I'm lost. Anyway, watermelons. Apparently, watermelons are, like, really rare in Japan. And they actually grow them in, like, different, like, colors. Like, you'll see, like, yellow watermelons and, like, normal watermelons, pink. But then they also, like, put them in, like, molds. They put the seeds in, like, molds so that when they grow, they grow into, like, shapes. Like, they'll put them in, like, a square mold. Oh, okay. It turned off the water. Good. Um, yes. All right, we're making our way through the sewers, baby. This is not what I was expecting the Boilermaker to be, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I'll post up some pictures here of uh, what I'm aware of with the old, uh, the watermelon situation, and you'll see them and be like, all right, well, now I know that. And you know what? That's 90% of my life, is random facts that I know a little bit about, like just enough to be like, huh? Oh, isn't that interesting? And then, oh, 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 oh. no. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. Ooh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! I've just been sitting here jabber jawing, but I still made it. Hey, 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 hey! I just. Woo! I lost Guiji because my eek distracted me. Alright, good. Um. Ooh, this looks complex. Anyway, I know a bunch of random facts that I have a very little, little knowledge about. But it's just enough to make you be like, all right, yeah, all right. Okay, is this the poopy plunger? Oh. Nope, just money plunger. <laughs> How delight. Whoa, I was like, what's exploding? All right. So I'm up here now. Back into my tubey. Ooh. Floating down a river of poop. It's probably not. I don't think this is like sewers. What is this? Go, bucket! No? Alright, we we'll squeeze through here. Hey, we're gonna catch a big one. Oh, would have had to start over. I would have been a little bit annoyed, I'm not gonna lie. Guiji! Alright, is that it? <gasps> Shark Tales! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Guiji.
I did I drown? Can Luigi not swim? Get away, Mike! Go away, please. You've already made your cameo for this episode, and that is enough. Ooh, Luigi. This is my home. I live in the sewers. Why? Come on, boys. Come on around. Ho oh, ho! Surprise! I don't think that's the right way to do it, but I did it! <laughs> oh, there's another mine. <gasps> They're still here! Swan! Give me your give me your gold. No, no, no. Oh, there's a thing right there. Please, please don't start me back. Okay, good. Woo -wee, woo -wee. I was about to be madder than a than a pickled rattlesnake on a on a skewer in the middle of a cold Texas winter. I don't even know if that's a thing. <laughs> it's Shoulder McGee. Let me give you a massage, Luigi. I'd be like, no, thank you. Look, oh no, it's not a football player. It's the armor set. <gasps> Don't be wrestling, Luigi! Gooigi! Actually, I guess he wasn't really wrestling him, he was just giving him a, a weirdo massage. Oh, it's minis. Mini bl mini blockheads. He's like, Gooigi, let me give you a massage. Wanna get a massage? Gooigi's like, no! I hate massages! Does not do well with my gooey texture. Uh, this looks complex. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 So the light, the switches are the directions that the pipes are gonna go. So since this one that I'm pointing at that you can't see, but I'll zoom in. I. Editing Bobby, this is all on you. Um, this one is pointing this way. That means that I'm now going to go through this, but if I had it pointing up like this, I'd go through the thing. I didn't need to explain all that. You saw it, and you were like, yes, we get it. But I, I just, uh, uh, just want to make sure. I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay, so actually right now we are good. I just got to call back Gooigi, then re-release him, then put him through the pipe. Yeah, I knew was good. Was good. And then we're good. Now, squirt out a little gooey. No, that's not the right answer, Bobby. What do you think gooey tastes like? I think it tastes like green apple. Or does he taste like just like rubber? Like 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 you'd be eating like silly putty, is that oh, wait. <laughs> oh. Gooigi. Throw the switch, Gooigi! Little did you know that this leads to my Frankenstein-style monster! <laughs> Gooigi Monster 2.0! <laughs> and he is green apple flavored. <laughs> that voice. Not good. Not good on my throat. Good job! Do not patronize me, green one. All right, the water is back to how it was. Go back to where you came from and get after the mechanic ghost. Is that suit of armor watching me? No, no, no. Aha! I knew there was a secret. I totally didn't know. I just, I was just guessing. But I'll be gosh darned if I'm not gonna take credit for my genius! Ah. 
Yeah. Money. Money. Boop. You're gone. That's it. Money. Money, please. Oh, yeah. Money. I have so much money now. I'm so much richer than my bro. I can finally move out on my own. I think that's the goal. That's that's the goal of this whole game, right? Is that Luigi wants to be able to move out on his own. He's been living with Mario. He's been he's been mooching off of Mario and his success. I mean, they've had their plumbing business together, but okay, well that's not the right answer. Um, they've had their plumbing business together, and everything's been fine and dandy. But Luigi's like, I gotta spread my wings, and you know, I kind of want my own place. So when Daisy comes over, anyway. <laughs> oh, ooh, it is a painting with money! I feel like it's getting more, like, high-pitched every time I get it. Be gone, Black Swan! Is this a secret tunnel? It is. Cause you know where there's a balloon down here? Down in the sewers? Remember what I said about It the Clown? We all float down here, Georgie? Remember the mobster? We all float down here, hey, don't even worry about it. You come on down, we're gonna float together. You, me, we're gonna do it, Georgie, come on. Did I just activate him? Is he coming? Ugh. Gave myself the shivers. All right. That is nothing. Hey, yeah, yo, climbing up the ladder. I was gonna say, are they gonna be like flopping like fish? Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, uh. I, that's hilarious, actually. Any of you guys afraid of like water and the ocean and stuff like that? Cause you know what? I know this is not related to the ocean, but I'm sorry. Uh, that minuscule little bit of water right there. Uh, for being such a tough green guy, he's really not got that much- Oh no, he heard me. What did you say, you fool? You're talking about me? I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to get you! Alright. There's no resolution to that. Anyway, did you- Ooh, what, what can we do here? Oh, a periscope. What? The heck am I looking into? Whatever. Anyway, back to my uh, fear of ocean. Or I believe the technical term is uh, thalassophobia. So here we go. Random knowledge with Bobby. I'm just gonna have little segments just thrown in now where it's like doo doo doo. Random knowledge with Bobby. Um. Piranha. And, uh. Did I really just shoot that all the way up to the top and that I can't get? Come here, crab trap. Let's go. Wow, that was not a lot of money. Um, anyway, ooh, 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 it's a mimic. Ooh, 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 get out of there! Get out of there! Get out, Weege. Come on now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want some watermelon? Yes, he did. We had this last time with the trash can, remember? We had to suck out the negative energy, shoot a piranha, give it, give a thumbs up, good to go. Fear of the deep blue, the lassophobia. 
I think it's it's not so much a matter of like I'm not afraid of like sharks and stuff like that. Or I mean like obviously I would be if it was like if there was a shark I wouldn't be like oh look a shark wow that's not <laughs> that's cool. Um, but I, it's more so just like you're out in the blue and it's just like I don't know what's out there. There could be a kraken. There could be anything. There could be a clown. <laughs> there could be a clown with a snorkel out there. You don't know. You don't know what's out in the ocean. Granted, there could be a clown with a snorkel on land, too. I guess you never really know that either, but... You know. <laughs> it's probably more likely that you'd find a clown with a snorkel... Under underwater than you would on land. But I digress. It's the unknown. In all seriousness, it's the idea that, like, you know, you have things like the Mosasaur, like one of the largest dinosaur, re reptilian dinosaur underwater things that could just be lurking underneath you. You don't know. Maybe nobody's seen one in, you know, however many years because they're all just lurking at the bottom. They're like, I'm waiting for this boy Bobby to come out and swim in the water. And when he does, we're all coming up. We're all going up. We're going to get a clown with a snorkel. It's going to be great. We're all going to be together. They're also mobsters. Everybody's mobsters in my in my imagination. Maybe I'm actually secretly terrified of mobsters. This whole conversation is really just taking a, a weird turn. I'm trying to keep it light. I'm trying to keep it fresh. I'm getting close to my bedtime, but I was like, I'm going to film the video. This is a good idea. Oh, Cletus is sleeping. Stop stepping on the ducks. Watch where you're stepping, boy. Is this the same one each time? I feel it. Is he look different? No, stop at the water. Luigi, there's a there's a ladder. Luigi, there's a see there's a ladder you could have climbed. There's a, there's a ladder! Are we gonna have a game of chicken? And I'm not saying that because I'm a little in a little chicken. Oh, he's got a fan. Don't you fan slap me? There's spikes, and now he's got mines. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get out of the pool. Get out of the pool. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, apparently there. Oh, that was the secret. I just had to be patient. You know what they say, patience is something that everyone should have. You know what? I gotta say, look at Luigi's happy little face. He's like, I'm just glad to be in the water. This is so much fun. Wee! Wow, with everything else that I've had that's been like impending doom and Luigi's been like scared out of his wits. He's just happy to be having a little pool party. I didn't I didn't intend to do that, but it happened and I'm glad it did. I actually was trying to flash him, but I accidentally sucked it up and I was like, is he gonna go back in the water like right as I get to him? That is exactly what's happening right now. All right, we're going to that part where I fast forward the boss fight while I figure it out for five minutes. <laughs> Do your spinny. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come here, boy. <laughs> I bet that mouse has some hearts for me. To me, mousey. 
now. I smooshed the mouse! No, I did not. Hey, he's got a little hot for me. What do you know? Get in the tub. Alright. I need you to chill with the mines. Well, that popped. Oh, shut up. Come on. It's like hard to start getting up your momentum. Come here, come here, ducky, come here. Come here! Kia! All right, out of the water, boy. One more. Ugh. Can we just can we just call it? Can we just call it? Can you just be like, yeah, you know what? All right, I'm at my last bit of health. Can we just? We're done. You beat me. Well done. Come on! Come on! Come on, try to hit me with that fan butt! No, no, no! Here we come on, come on. No, no, no. Yes! Okay, good. I was like, I'm coming in too hot! Oh, that's I was like, what button do I press? It's been so long since I've hit him. This is it. Game over. GG, my boy. Sublam. No! Good. It's in the at the bottom of the at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> I feel the same way, Weege. Can I have that? I'm getting these hearts because I need health. Cool. Do -do -do -do. And now we turn this bad boy on, off, on, off. We drain the water. You know, you know. Nice. Floor 10, baby. We're in the double digits. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, what's in this fridge? Is there gonna be a zombie in the fridge? Nope. Just fridge. Just more fridge. Alright, back to the elevator, baby. That was a major stare right there. We're back at the elevator, by the way. Oh yeah. We did it. We beat the boiler works. Let's see what floor 10 is. Tomb sweet. Ooh. I'm thinking there's going to be some mummies or some tomb. Yeah, tomb. It's it's mummies. That that's all that can be. Well, with that said, thank you everyone once again for checking in. As always, I appreciate you guys. Um, final gold count for this episode: twenty-five seven seventy. That's two five seven seven zero on money. We're well on our way to forty thousand and buying that new second condominium for Luigi. I'm just kidding. It's probably going to be nothing because you spend all the gold on the the stuff at Egad's shop. So, which we're not going to use. So, we're just we're accumulating wealth. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. Anyway, thanks for checking in as always, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.